Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Amanda Lokafo and today I'll be showing you guys how to create Tree with this awesome free software. So the software is called Tree It. So I'm going to try to put the link below this video so you can download it for free and we start up this tutorial. So the software is pretty easy to use. You, when you start up the software, this is what you, you're going to first meet. So it offers you really awesome features to help preview your mesh, um, like cool, cool shadows and nice open G, OpenGL stuff, even nice windy effect. Um, but uh, also, you can also add and customize your tree. So you can create branches, make it bendy and stuff, add more segments, even add roots. It's awesome. And you can finally add trees. I'm sorry, you can add leaves. So that's cool and all. But I will not go through the software. So you can experiment with that on your own. So uh, one awesome thing about the software, it comes with uh, its own presets, which you can use and modify um, to create varieties of assets. So to assess that, you just go to File, Open, and it loads um, the the part for you, and you just select just the three um, the three you're looking for. So it has so many like coconut, palm trees, nice orcs, just even bamboo, uh, banana plants. So it's really nice. So you can just import that and start um, creating different varieties. So let's just add this beech tree, and. Yeah, so it does it. So it even has this cool windy effect. Uh, but one thing, this this software mostly um, caters to more of a gaming asset creator. So the asset is creating is mainly texture based. So if you're trying to get like high end trees, you may not uh, find it. But don't be discouraged yet because I'm in this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to create that um, using Blender. So. We shall be using what the software gives us as a base, then we build on top of it. Okay, so um, let's say we're happy with this result. Um, before that, let's say you want to add a variety to this. All you just need to do is just play with the parameters and it will give you a different look. So let's export this. To do that, you just go to File, Export, and you have four main formats you can export in. Um, so I'm going to use the Wavefront OBJ. And let me just clean up a folder. Okay, so I'm going to save it in my project and just name it 3. And save. It doesn't take time to save. And once it does, um, you can close the scene. Okay, so... Inside Blender 2.8, let's go ahead and import the file. So Wavefront OBJ and the um, OBJ file here. So you don't need to play with any of these parameters. Um, you can just go ahead after selecting the file. You can just go ahead and hit the import OBJ. Cool. Um, so it's going to load in big. Um, this depends on your scene size. Blender by default doesn't use um, centimeter, I think. Um, so that's why you're getting it. Uh, this you're getting this outrageous scale. So you can just really scale it down to match uh, this scale you're going for. So I'm happy with this, and we can start working from it. So as I said earlier, the software just gives you uh, a texture-based um, approach when creating tree, um, which is cool and all when doing gaming and creating um, background assets. But when you're trying to create uh, like principal asset, like the ones you're going to use or in visual effects, this is um, really low poly for us. So first of all, I'm going to sh show you how to use this as it is in case you're happy with this result and you just want to use this as it is. Um, so to create that, I want to ensure also know the software is really kind to offer you um, different texture maps. So it gives you alpha maps, it gives you normal maps, which is really helpful. So let's preview its current state. So for that, I'm going to be using Eevee. 
So just click on the texture button here and it will just go ahead and load it. So my computer is a bit slow because I'm just using my laptop, which I plan to change. So as the textures are quite uh, decent for game assets, um, don't worry about this. That's because we don't have any alpha channel here, which I will show you how to create that. And cool. So it's looking okay for now. Um, so let's go into the shading mode. Just turn this off. So let's go into the shading mode and save this first and call this three. Okay, so I will turn on EV again. So I'm quite happy with the result of this, um, but let's push it forward. Let's add in the normal map for the tree. So we'll just duplicate this text texture node and where you where you exported the obj file there you could find all the maps so i'm just going to set it and click on this one which is the normal map and import it and you can just go ahead and connect it to the normal map which will give you a weird result but you want to add the under the vector you want to go and select bump and then set connect it with the height and let's preview that first so this is how it's gonna look so let's add that so it's a bit much let's return it down to like 0.1 or 0.3 okay so it's looking okay so far so for the leaves you just select the leaves so they are different mesh some of the assets created from the tree, it, it um, comes with separate meshes, some comes with separate materials, um, some comes with um, same object and material. So um, for this, we have separate meshes and separate material, which is really handy. Um, so let's convert, let's create an alpha channel for it. So I will just delete this and for it to preview in Eevee, I will go to the material and also, um, under the option and in case you don't see this option that's because in your render settings you need to switch it from cycles to EV because when you're in cycles you have probability on not, on not seeing that parameter um, but when you have it set to EV then you can see all the goodies that comes with EV um, so let's go back to the mat material editor bring that back out so in the material, let's set it to alpha clip. So this is going to enable it to respond to when I add a transparent, sorry, when I add a transparent shader here. So all I need to do now is just add a mix shader, plug it into the surface and also add a transparent shader. So let's connect the two. Okay, so once you connect the two, you're good to go. Um, but one thing you notice, it's, it's still transparent. That's because the object doesn't have any information to uh, derive its transparency form. So one awesome thing is that the texture map comes with a um, transparent and alpha channel. So it actually has an alpha channel. So this black, white will signify where will be visible. And for the dark places, it's gonna, it will not be visible. Okay, so when we just plug in that and connect the alpha into the factor, we should see the texture. Um, so we are not seeing it because it's inverted. As you can see, we're already getting the effect. So we just need to switch these two plugs. And once you do that, it loads. So that's how to just basically set it up in your scene and you can use it as it is. So for the next but we, I'll be showing you guys how to create um, the high, um, high resolution version. So that will be all from this tutorial because I don't want to make this tutorial really long because then you will not um, really understand it. Um, so I'm going to make a part two, which you can get if you subscribe to this channel 
and so you can notify uh, which you have to click on the notify button so you'll be notified when i post the parts of this which will be how we can convert this into a very high resolution version that we can use in our animations and movies so thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time